What is kindness? The definition of kindness encompasses the qualities of being friendly, generous, and considerate. But you don't need me to stand here and tell you what it means to be kind at some level. You instinctively just know. But authentic kindness is a personal decision, a choice. If you recall the video on humility, then you will quickly see how being kind and showing kindness is a selfless act. Choosing to be kind in the face of extremely difficult situations goes against our very nature, and yet that is when it is needed most. Since being kind is a choice, so is being unkind. Let that sink in for a moment. Since being kind is a choice, so is being unkind. When you are unkind, you are actually choosing to be unkind, whether you are doing it consciously or not. That thought alone should send chills down your spine and make you consider your actions. Why is being kind when we have been wronged so hard for us? The strength that you must muster up to be kind when you have been mistreated, unfairly punished, or accused of something you did not do is enormous and not everyone can do it. But why? Your capacity to be kind and above all else to forgive is within you right now. But your ego, your ego will not let you express it. You see, your ego desperately wants to be vindicated and avenged for the pain and shame that you felt by being mistreated. And it will therefore work overtime on the physiological and psychological aspects of you until it has been satisfied, no matter the cost. And in the end, you just fell prey to the vicious cycle of tit for tat the infliction of injury or insult in return for another. And for what? So you can feel good? It's hard to do good to those that hurt you and despise you and even harder to want the best for them. But it is required of you. But here's the thing. You're not alone and you don't even have to do this under your own strength because quite frankly, you don't possess the strength nor the will. But I know someone who does. Jesus Christ. Did you know that he is waiting to fill you with everything you need? You see, while you may think it's the material things you need in this life to make your life complete, it's not. All you need is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And I guarantee that you will be living your best life now.